I hope you are all well and I hope everybody had a great weekend. Let us know what you did. We had a great weekend, didn't we? Yeah. What did we do? We went to treetops. We went to the treetop. Oh my gosh, so scary. It was so much fun, <laughs> wasn't it scary? I was scared. <laughs> anyway, um, it was a little bit scary for mum. <laughs> um, now we're on... Um, we're on YouTube and um, on Facebook tonight. So if you're watching over on YouTube, make sure you say hi. Um, we would love to um, see, let us know where you're watching from. Um, we would love to um, see you or hear from you over on YouTube as well. Anyway, so, oh, what have I done, Wes? I don't know. There we go. <laughs> Radio. Um, so tonight, really easy dinner. We just got home from Touch Footy. Um, I'm going to put you in the driver's seat. Thank you. Um, and we just got home from Touch Footy and we're having beef burgers for, um, I'm start them already. for dinner. Yes. Now, Wesley, I, um, I forgot to, Wesley, I forgot to get breadcrumbs. So, um, what we're going to do is we're just going to make one of our rolls or maybe even, can you just put the scales on? How much, how much breadcrumbs do we need in this recipe? Let's have a quick look. Um, so Wes is actually, as part of Cookie Do 3.0, Wes has actually updated this re recipe to do the breadcrumbs at the start because we always forget to do them. Um, but, so you need breadcrumbs. This one doesn't have breadcrumbs. You should. Oh, they're 40 grams. Okay, so if I just go to the scales, I want to just see how much half of a bread roll is. Oh, um, look, I've got a pinch of it. Um... Yeah, just a tiny bit. That's too there we much. go. That's a little bit extra. It'll be fine. Um, so we're going to make our own breadcrumbs first. Wes, it's fine. Please just use it all. Okay. okay. A little bit extra is okay, Wes. <laughs> Not in breadcrumbs. <laughs> Radio. Um, Let's go speed four. I reckon speed eight ish for breadcrumbs. Because <laughs> we don't want to. You don't want to do breadcrumbs too much, or otherwise it'll go doughy. How'd you go? Let me see. Oh, perfect, Wesley. Could not have done it better myself, kids. No, you couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> Radio. So there's our breadcrumbs. So we will just sit those aside. And it doesn't really matter if there's a bit of bread left because you're going to use the same bowl. That's well. right. You definitely will not need to wash the bowl. Now you're free to go with this recipe. Yeah. While you're doing that, I'll explain what ingredients we've got. So we've got some um, rump steak. Now I froze this. Um, I bought a whole rump and I froze it all flat flat in, um, in steaks and I've just grabbed it out of the freezer and I've just waited till it's sort of thawed enough to just be able to push the knife through it was still really frozen so for this recipe it asks for like for meat that's been in the fridge in the freezer just like just to get it hard but you can do it the other way as well you just might have to do that step twice to um mix it up to mince it yeah but making your own mince in the thermo is great say um, making your own mince in the thermomix is really good because you know exactly what you're getting um and what what is in there um a spatula sure She loves how Wes doesn't want extra breadcrumbs. Yeah. Me too. I don't know if he's actually my child because he likes it to be precise and I'm just like, oh, whack oh, it in. Holy my. Oh, you don't need to scrape that down too much, Wes. Go to the next step, please. We wanna we wanna get dinner cracker lacking tonight, buddy. Without measuring cup. Without measuring cup. Are oh, you gonna fry off the onion? Yeah. Excellent, excellent. Um, radio. Oh, Sue's watching. Oh, Paul's watching. Hello, Paul. Oh, now, I just I just got your message, Paul, and I haven't actually been able to open it, but I think you said that you're from South Africa. Is that correct? Um, but very good. Welcome, if you are. Well, welcome no matter where you're from, but yes. Um, and Mark's here, Annie Ann's here. Oh, and Al, um, Mrs. Miss, your teacher is here. Hmm? Al? Never mind. Karen's here. Hi, Karen. Who's Al? Um, Jenny. And Jenny's here as well. Excellent. Who's Al? Oh, yes. Paul's from South Africa. Lovely. Um, oh, is that Mrs. Beswick? It is, yes. 
I didn't want to say that because her name's not the same on Facebook, so I didn't want to give that away, Wes, just in case. But anyway, you've, you've masked that for me. All good. Um, oh, Ariane, this is one of my new purchases um, yesterday. Oh, no, when was that that we went, I went shopping with Mum and Lynn? Um, and my mum said, the green will look really nice on camera. And look, Wesley's like colour coordinated with me with the friends and primary colours. Radio, now I've got my fry pan here. And oh, there's a lot going on with that onion, Wes. Oh, I let Wes buy lots of onion. <sighs> can we put a couple? Can we put the. Oh my gosh. It. The onion is really strong. Anyway. Um, I let Wes buy proper mozzarella cheese for these burgers tonight. I tell and you we're going to use the proper oh, cheese cutter. <laughs> Wes is never, we have never used this. I can't wait to use it. We've, Wes has been waiting to use this cheese cutter. The day since, we got it. Since the day we got it, which was in Dubbo, wasn't it? Yeah. and all. It was in Dubbo at a little um, kitchenware shop. And I bought this because it's exactly the same. And if my mum is watching, um, maybe she she'll, she'll watch on replay. This will be a test. It's identical to the one that we had in our butcher shop when we used to sell cheese in our butcher shop. So um, I bought that for that reason. Um, and then we've never used it. So <laughs> tonight, Wes is going to give it... The mozzarella should um, stretch because it's um, fresh. Wes is going to give it its maiden voyage. Okay, so now if you want to cut this in... Yeah, it's like... It's, so, have you washed your hands? Yeah. Okay, great. So like, see how it's... <laughs> Oh, it's so cool. Yeah, so you want to chop that into about six pieces, Wes, because we're going to make six burgers. Whoa, and we're gonna... it's so good. Is it? <laughs> By the way, we're not selling these in the mix shop, <laughs> but we should be, shouldn't we? Yes. Yes. I'm going to cut this one in half. Oh, okay. no. I'm not. No, you, you want six good chunks. You might have some left over for next time, Wes. I don't maybe. know if it's going to Isn't last. it good? It's so good, isn't it? There you it's go. Like hey, Vicky. It just slices the cheese. Who would have thought the cheese cutter oh, just oh, slices the cheese? cheese. <laughs> and then we actually found some Norco cheese at our local Coles. Um, Two, four. So that was exciting. So we're going to have Norco cheese on these as well. It's going to be cheesy burgers. <laughs> um, okay, so we put this aside in a bowl. It should oh. be stretched it's mozzarella. Hey? It should be stretched because it's mozzarella. Oh, yeah. But it's not. Um, so, in other news, tomorrow night, me and me, me and the team leaders, the team leaders and I, so all the, um, in our branch, all the people that are the same as me, team leaders in Thermomix, we're presenting a class about the modes of the TM6. So, it's going to be a really one. cool, hey? Watch this, the camera. Oh, I'm watching the instant replay, am I, Wes? Yeah, wait for it. Wait, wait for it? Wait, where is it? I don't know. Anyway, um, we're presenting a we're presenting a class on the modes of the TM6. So that's tomorrow night at seven thirty. The link. Did you put the link in? Um, did you put the link tree in? Oh, when it's cooked. Oh, it gets stretchy when it's cooked, Wes. Okay. Um, Wes, did you put the link in? You did yep. for Facebook. So the link is in. Go to the link that's in here. And then go cooking classes, and it's there. Um, it's the one for Tuesday if you want to come to that. Seal this back up, okay, so we'll put that in the fridge for later. Okay, excellent. We've got two. Okay, so now we're gonna chuck in our beef. Um, now, is this um this does two two lot in two lots worth, does it? Is this even a kilo? I don't know. It's only asking for 350 grams. It does it in three lots. I just did two slices of there you go. Um, That's not enough. It is, it'll be fine. It's not gonna make six though. It's fine. And hopefully I'll have enough for tomorrow for lunch. Wes just wants lunch. That's all he wants. What? Oh, it's 60 degrees. This is the one we have to wait. The what? You have to wait for the bowl. Oh, you should rinse the bowl. Hang on a sec. Let's... Oh. It doesn't tell us to. No, 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 but it will. So it actually asks you to take your... Oh, can you grab that? <laughs> it asks you to take your onion out. Just give it a rinse with some cold water. Because it doesn't think that a hot bowl should be able to turbo. Drum roll, it's only 40 now. Excellent. So now go back to our steps. Oh, is it? No. What are you doing? What are you doing, kiddo? You did this really wrong. I did do it wrong. Oh. Hang on a sec. No, I don't think you're going to get there, Wes. 
Oh, wait, it's maybe stuck on. Oh yeah, maybe just do that. That's a good idea. It's stuck on a step, but it needs the lid. Or it fails. There we go. And there we go. Thank you, Wes. I'm pleased that your the 12 year old figured out how to get around that. <laughs> See, the thermomix is foolproof. Not Just. idiot proof. <laughs> not idiot proof. That's not very nice, Wesley. Not very nice at all. Oh. Um, Sue says, is this your everyday kitchen? No, Sue, this is not our everyday kitchen. This is our studio kitchen under our house. <laughs> so no, this is not what our kitchen looks like. Although our kitchen looks pretty tidy at the moment. Whoa. Yeah, you'd want to do it. Heaps. Keep going. That'll be enough, I reckon. Yeah, so uh, our kitchen upstairs is actually pretty tidy at the moment because um, we don't really cook much in it. So we cook mostly down here in the studio. Um, but yeah. I reckon one more. I, I, I wouldn't have this all nice and neat if it was my one upstairs, I don't think. And we're one to Excellent. How do we go? Put it in here once it's mixed. And what do we look at? How, how's it looking? Oh, dear. Too good. Oh, look at that. So there's your mints. Or oh, starting to be your mints. Okay, now do the rest. Look at that mints. How good is that? Sorry, guys, you keep going. Look at our mints. I just, I love that. Every time I see it, I just love it. I'm just going to put the rest in. Yeah, just put the rest in. It'll be right. That's it. I don't think you're going to do this. Next. I've got a model. Next. Next. Oh. <laughs> Next. <laughs> he Can loves you it. do that? Please? He loves I it when I, he loves it when I do that. Oh, really? So you want to do this about, about six turns. Seven. Seven. does it eight it only needs six today that wasn't the right button oh sorry <laughs> <laughs> oh, i've forgotten how to use this machine where's right. taken over too much I've, I've wesley's taken over the cooking too oh, much this is cheddar cheese. oh now where's you, you transfer that into the bowl yeah and then you go skip and then just you, skip you do skip. yeah we'll skip that because you're meant to have Wait, three lo work? two lots of Wait, press it oh. no no oh, that's the only thing that protects it isn't it It needs, it really needs to have the lid on it when you're skipping through the slips. We've just figured out. Okay, now we're going to put all of our mints back in. This is good. Oh, how good's the mints? This mint looks really nice. And we've left the fat on it today too, because I usually take... It was take, really not fatty. It was beautiful. <coughs> what was it? I need it beautiful. <coughs> I need a drink. Uh, beautiful. Hang on a sec. You keep going. I'm going <laughs> to... It was beautiful rump steak. Um, put it all in there, darling. All of it, because we've waited already. No, no, I don't want to make a mess. Oh, okay. It was beautiful rump steak, so <laughs> it didn't have hardly any fat on it. So I've just left it all in there, and then that's all in there. Oh my gosh, those onions! Tell you. The onions aren't even cooking. No, I know, but I can. Oh, I two eggs. eggs. Well, we're just going to put the whole eggs in because we don't want to waste the eggs. Two eggs. Let's go. Chop, chop. Anyway, I'd love to hear what everybody else did on the weekend. We went to treetops. It was really cool. Wasn't it? Yep. I hope there's no shell in there, Wesley. Yeah, I did that really nicely somehow. Did you? I just did it really carefully. <laughs> oh, some um, Dijon mustard. mustard. You don't want to do have too much of this, though. Just a teaspoon. A good, a good teaspoon. I was Next. thinking a Wes Next. teaspoon, not Next. a mum <laughs> teaspoon. <laughs> There is a difference between a Wes teaspoon yeah, and a mum teaspoon. Good, no, it doesn't. Um, there is definitely a, um, a difference between a mum teaspoon and a Wes teaspoon. The reason why I'm so hot is because that fry pan is on. I thought I was having a hot flush, but it's just the oh, fry pan. <laughs> oh, you know, and some pepper, Wesy. These hot flushes. You're like, oh, my God, These hot, hot flushes. Flush. Oh, oh, yes. All the ladies out there will be... Um, <laughs> <laughs> will be feeling sorry for me. Um, oh, yes, Annie Ann, I know you've made gin at a gin distillery. Preserved onion extract. That was um, pretty cool. Here we go. Beautiful. Oh, it just slips in. Is that the scratch? Do you, have you tasted your gin yet, Annie Ann, or is that tonight's? 
She probably just keeps it in her collection. No, I don't think so. I think she'll, I think she'll um, drink it. Okay, are we done? Yeah. And it's actually excellent. Next. So, yes, with this, it does tell you you can stir through the thing if you need to. Hey, Steph, welcome. Oh, now I was going to open my Norco cheese. Talking about the Norco smell. Yeah. <laughs> it's not even normal cheese, it's cheddar. Yeah, well, that's normal. We don't know. It's normally meant to be tasty, isn't it? Oh, yeah, well, taste, yeah, because it's normally tasty, but we're, we're stepping up in the world. We're, we're having cheddar tonight. Cheddar's too, like, bitter. No, very bitter. Anyway, can, you, oh. can, you, can you concentrate on the, what you're doing there? Yeah. That is a new way to cut cheese slices. Yeah, how cool is that? Right, I'll keep going, please. I'm um, using clean damp cans. Mine are pretty damp because I washed it. Tasted it there when we made it, but can drink the bottle we bought home for six weeks. Ah, you've got to let it. I was wondering how you were going to have it so quick. Keep going, Liz. What are you doing? I'll make the patties. Sure. Can you taste it with the North Coast cheese? Sure. Oh, I think you need that one. Um, oh, I'm trying to do 12 bits. Did you break it? No. Why would we do 12? Because oh, I've got two, per, two, four, six, seven. Eight, nine. <laughs> Maybe I can do this in a sec after I've done the I'll patties. I'll do that for you. Okay, yeah. I'll swap you. Go that way. <laughs> Righty, oh, right, so nine. we want, um, what are we up to? I don't know, count them. Ten. There's a little bit extra for you to eat once you're finished. Um, oh, and again, I hope that it's nice, the, um, the gin that you made. Now, this makes six patties. Now, this wet one's, your hands. This one's only going to make... Um, wet your hands. Oh, fine. Um, now, you can sit these, you can make patties, and then sit them in the fridge um, to harden, because they are a bit soft. And we put a bit of mozzarella in the middle to make it nice. We stuff them with a piece of mozzarella, that's just our own little thing. And we don't worry about the putting them in the um we don't worry about putting them in the fridge step either. So we Oh it's good cheddar cheese. Is it? Is it nice? Yeah, how is it? Oh it's, oh, it's okay, I'll try it on my burger. Mm -hmm. Um these are good chunks of mozzarella tonight, Wesley, I must say. Okay, can you put the Norco cheese in the Oh fridge? like how we don't address it as cheese? <laughs> Norco like, cheese. It's like we're being sponsored by Norco. <laughs> Which yeah. Norco, Norco, if you are listening, we are big fans of um, Norco because we're from up near Casino where Norco's is. Look, <laughs> get away from it. What about oh. the dairy farm of South Green? Oh, well, I only got that because I couldn't find Norco. <laughs> but I never shop. I never shop at Coles, but we're having a bit of an issue here with our um, our Woolworths in Tormina. Um, anyway, so I went to I went to Coles, and I don't like Coles. I don't know why. I just anyway. Um, but I was really excited to find Norco cheese. So that was Coles kind of redeemed themselves. A I think bit. I think because most of the reason you don't like Coles is because of the moo cows and all that. Oh, the bloody moo cow and the clucking chicken button. <laughs> oh, yes, Wes, that could be the reason. Whoever thought that up obviously has this. got no children. I reckon. I don't think you'll need this. Yes, I will. I'm doing that one now. Damn it! I wanted to eat that much. I'm not sure I do. Should we taste the mozzarella? No, you shall not. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. And um, we had fun at Touch 40 today, didn't we, Wes? No. Yeah. I had a smile on my face the whole time. You had a smile on your face the whole time? Yeah. Did you? Yeah. Don't know about that. I think I there did. was a couple of times that you weren't smiling, but anyway. <laughs> yeah, when Molly got hurt, I wasn't smiling. <laughs> okay. Oh, Molly did get a little bit hurt, but she's okay. Everyone, who's Molly? The child we don't know about. <laughs> It's Molly, the child we never speak of. <laughs> a lady actually didn't that I was talking to the other day thought I only had two children. It's forbidden to okay. talk about Can Molly. Can you put all that over there with your clean hands? Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna wash my hands. Okay. Oh. What am I doing? I don't know. And Mum has know. opted out on burger buns. She's using wraps. Well, that's a weird choice. Of okay, we've got our cheese. Oh, I'll do the burger first. Yeah, you. You concentrate on the burger, please. Is that that happening? Right, I will bring them into the shot. Oh, bring it over. 
Again, we're not sponsored by Sunbeam, but we've got our fry pan happening today. Sunbeam, if you are watching. Yeah. If we need a new fry pan. <laughs> yeah, Sunbeam, if you are watching, we do need a new fry pan. Warranty claim. Oh. Why? Because this one's bad. Why is it bad? Because it's not, it's not the, really. um, the one Sarah Jane's got is good. Oh, the one Sarah Jane's got's better. Um, oh, and Paul fun. made Japanese cheesecake on the weekend. I don't like cheesecake. Ugh. No, but the Japanese one is really nice, isn't it, Paul? It's um, very. It's soft. Co- what is it called? Soft cotton cheesecake, cheesecake or something. Um, where's he? Where's our dishcloth? Just use the tea tea. I just want to wipe there, buddy, because there's some meat on the thing. Oh, I already wiped that with the dish, the tea towel. Oh, excellent. Well, that tea towel can go in the wash. <laughs> Excellent. That's all right. I just need to lean on it. Radio. So, um, I wonder how I wonder how our friends over at YouTube are doing. Let's have a have, have a look over there. Oh, nobody's nobody's chatted to us on YouTube. Is this, is this surely that can't be right? Wes, fix it for me. <laughs> um. Okay. Okay. How about you just do this? Oh. Oops. Anyway. We um we're over on you we're we're on YouTube as well because we understand that not everybody has Facebook, even though we couldn't live without Facebook. Um, oh, some cool. people there are people who um don't have Facebook, so which is kind of annoying. Hey, it's kind of sad. And hello, Timmy. Welcome. Hope you're well. Um, it is kind of sad if you don't have Facebook, but no, that's no I judgment. Don't. There's no judgment here. You don't have Facebook. That's right. You can only catch me on YouTube, Wes. Or Instagram. Oh, Instagram. I should start coming live on Instagram. Oh, I think we're live enough, personally. Yeah, just But anyway, I think we're... Oh, we should have used the meter. Oh, we really should have used the meter. Quick, we'll just get no, on. No, 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 because we need the phone. But you no. can also get the meter. Okay. And we didn't make our own burger buns like we had planned today. Yeah. I had a busy day with... Oh, I thought you said you were going to... Oh, I did. I did say that. I did say that. I did lie. Um, I did lie because I was going to make them while you're at school, but then I oh rap. I opted out. That's weird. I'm having 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 a rap as well. Oh, is she? Yeah. Oh, okay. The child we never last time about it. The child that we never speak about. Have I got these in half for you? Nice. No. Oh yeah, I will have them in half eventually, but not just yet. Radio. So we can put our cheese. No, not yet. I'm saying we can put our cheese on ours. What? What? No. Yeah, and then I'm just going to put them on there. But no. Yes, I'm not going to worry about melting it on there. Where's the other piece of cheese? Oh, oh where's well, rookie oh, mistake? That's okay. That person can have one and a half. How about we just? It's all good. Because it's the okay. Don't fold is good. It's okay. Oh. Thank you. Okay, flip mm-hmm. them. Where's I reckon they're ready to flip? They need a, whatever. They need a brown up more, but no, I don't think so. <laughs> whatever you think. Whatever you think. I've got a meeting tonight with all my lovely Thermomix consultants, so I've got to get dinner happening. What is this on? As quick oh, as we I can. Oh, you just burning them. Oh, I'm burning them. You're in charge of them. You were the one who put it on 10, but you're in charge of them. Look at that. They're all charcoal now. Does anyone else have the retro um, Tupperware lettuce keeper? Well, subject change. Subject change. I love this. I love this um, Tupperware. Subject change. <laughs> I do love my Tupperware um, lettuce keeper, which you can't buy anymore. Mm-hmm. Just saying. Mm-hmm. What? Mm-hmm. Will Molly have lettuce? No. Does she not like lettuce? No, she, hopefully she will. Mm. Just give it to Ali, doesn't. Oh, doesn't she? No, just give it to her. She'll have it tonight. Just Everyone's having oh, lettuce. Oh, make sure one, please. Oh, well, you can make that one. Oh, you didn't butter the buns. No, I know. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh, there is butter, but it's it's hard. So sorry, Wes. It's like it's times like this when you really let down your children that you just don't know if you if you're cutting it as a mother. I'm sorry, Wes. I'm very dis- I'm sorry. Turn it up. They're not even sizzling. What are you doing? They're not meant to be sizzling. They are meant to be sizzling. To if cook. you want it to look like charcoal, it's perfect. Come on, keep them going. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Mm. I don't know how much more we want to tell you. Oh, actually, what I wanted to show you. Mm. Hang yes. on a sec. I wanted to show them what we bought from the mix shop. What are you doing? Oh. What are you, were you going to show them? Oh, no. That's okay. 
I haven't tested the blade cover yet. I'm I'm gonna do the peel a blade cover thing, but stay tuned. Anyway, this this is really cool. So this is called a hokey pokey candy puff candy honeycomb toffee cider toffee sponge toffee sea foam candy. Whatever you happen to call it, it can be beat can't beat homemade honeycomb candy created in our silicon honeycomb mould and your TM6. Together they take all the hard work and guesswork out of sugar work, making it super easy and so much fun to create perfectly golden, bubbly and brittle yet sticky coffee time treats, cake decorations or honeycomb gifts. How cool is this? So, you can make honeycomb, chocolate, mini mousse, jelly, cake or pudding or soap in this. And have a look at it. It's obviously, oh you can't see it, let me get up close. Um, it's obviously, it got little beads, beads, and little honeycombs, and it's, yeah, a little mould. So we'll be making some honeycomb soon, soon in this, because I think this is super cute. Um, so yeah, they're at the mix shop, and we didn't even know they were at the mix shop until one of Wes's teachers asked him to order her one, and then Wes come home and told me all about them, and I was like, oh. How cool are they? So, we got one as well. How are we going, Wes? Be gentle with them. Your, your cheese has fallen out of that one, darling. Which one? They don't need to be flipped. Um, no, they do, because what do you want? They're you not need to right through. No, that's right. Well, because you cooked this side, they need to cook up through the other side. Anyway, um, we might pop a photo of our completed dinner once our burgers cook. Look, Wes has got this. <laughs> Wes has got the stretchy the mozzarella. The, the mozzarella is nice and stretchy now. Ha <laughs> ha, Righto, anyway, thanks so much for joining us. Tomorrow night, do you want to see what's on the meal plan for the week? Let's have a quick look. It's from butter chicken. Hmm? I think it is butter chicken, Wes. Let's just have a drum roll. Wes and I made the meal plan whilst what? we were... How come there was honey barbecue chicken on we the meal tonight? For that. We didn't plan for that, but that's okay. Um, we didn't shop for that either, so I don't know how it got there. But anyway, um, tomorrow night we're having butter chicken. We are going to um, we are going to have the Thermo Kitchen butter chicken because that is our favourite. And it's with naan bread. And it's with naan bread. I can't miss out. Yeah. And then on Wednesday night, oh, on Wednesday night I'm going to show you how to use that leftovers from that and make a pea and paneer curry, which is really yummy. Oh. So cook once, eat twice. I thought we're having butter chicken again. Yeah, it's, it's a pea and paneer curry. It's just no chicken. Oh, that wrecks the whole thing. No, it doesn't. It's yummy cheese in it. Anyway, anyway, we won't discuss this now. We'll, we'll see you on Wednesday for that. Um, stay tuned for Wednesday when Wes will probably have the poos because we're not having butter chicken again. You can make naan bread again if and you'd be good. Maybe put some chicken on it. <laughs> and maybe add some chicken. Okay. <laughs> We're going to have one vegetarian meal a week, Wes. Remember no. when we made that decision? What? what? Um, okay, then we're having paprika chicken with creamy paprika sauce on Thursday night. What? Is this because of Molly? Oh, I'm vegetarian. no. No. Um, and then on Friday night, we're having silver side. Yum! Because I'm right back on the silver side um, agenda. Bandwagon. I bought two silver sides in my meat pack this week. So, yeah. Anyway, so that's what's on for us. Um, we will come. We will pop a photo of the finished product. Thanks, Paul. <laughs> Love your support. Um, we will. We'll post a picture of them all done once Wes finishes cooking the um, the burgers. But we'll see you tomorrow night. Wes, how are we going to end? <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to be able to do that. No, I can't. <laughs>